Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick review on the Irresistible Me hair extensions. They actually sent me a bunch of their clip-in hair extensions to try out, and if you guys know anything about my channel or my hair, I have very little hair naturally. It's actually quite sad. My hair is incredibly thin and fine, and for that reason, for the past, I want to say three years or so, I've actually been wearing sewn-in extensions just to bring my hair up to that like natural-looking level. So yeah, I always have sewn in hair extensions. Now they sent me the clip-in type, which I'll show you here in a second, and I was really excited to try them out because I have a lot of experience with clip-in extensions for that reason, and I wanted to try them out because they would give extra kind of an extra boost of volume to my hair if I was going out for a special event, or especially if I were to curl my hair, which I didn't do today. But if I were to curl it, it would just add a lot more curls and more volume and even length. So I was really excited to try out this brand. I thought I'd first start off with just telling you a little bit about these extensions and about what they offer and then I will show you kind of my extensions and how I put them in myself. So I'll leave a link down below to Irresistible Me, but they offer a bunch of different things including full lace wigs, um, highlight pieces, ponytail pieces, and then um, the set of clip extensions that I have. I have the Royal Remy one, they also have one called Silky Touch, and the Royal Remy I believe comes in 12 different colors. Um, it comes in a bunch of different length options, which is great, you don't have to get the super long ones that a lot of other companies offer. The length start as short as 14 inches and go all the way up to 24 inches long, and then they come in a bunch of different weights, and there's 100 grams, 140 grams, and 200 grams, and that's just kind of the uh, the weight and the amount of hair that you receive. They actually have a YouTube video that shows each individual hair color um, and it can help you figure out you know which one to order but the really cool thing about this company is that the way it's packaged. Now I have to admit I did not read the directions and I feel really really dumb for not reading the directions. I received these in the mail they come in this cute package like so and I was so excited about my new hair extensions that I busted into them. My kids were distracting me and I didn't read it and I'm, I just feel so bad that I didn't read it. But what I'm talking about is when they package the hair extensions the majority come in this section here with a little um, like seal on it that says right on it, void of return when removed. So the idea behind that is they gave you this little sample piece here and you can take this one out and compare the hair color to your hair and the length and make sure it's actually what you want before you open the big side. Because if it's not the right color or the right length, then you can just return it and get you know, the right color or get your money back if you weren't happy with it. And unfortunately, I just busted into it and I am wearing some of them in my hair right now. They're not a terrible match. Um, I just think that there was a color that was one closer to my hairstyle, so if I would have read it, I would have done that. But I just think that's amazing. You don't have to feel like there's a big risk involved when ordering it because that's the worst. If you were to spend, you know, a bunch of money on hair extensions and they end up being the wrong color, it would just be the worst. So I just love that. There's no risk involved at all. But the cool thing about these is because they are real hair, like real Royal Remy hair, they are completely dyeable. So I'm actually going to take them to my hair salon and see if they can make them a little bit better of a match. Although when I'm looking in the viewfinder, it, it looks quite similar to my actual hair. I've actually already washed and dried these. They act, they are just like regular hair and I've straightened them. It's really hot today. So I feel like I could get away with straightening them one more time so that they're a little bit more smooth and sleek like they were sent to me. But yeah, they held up really well. They act just like my regular hair. In case you're wondering what color I got, I ended up getting ash blonde um, and I got 20 inches and 200 grams. So it's quite a lot of hair, which I'm still going to show you in a second. Um, I got 20 inches because it's about this much longer than my current extensions and I wanted that for when I curl it and then my hair can be a little bit extra long. All right, so I'm just going to show you a close up of the ash blonde color in case you're curious. As you can see, it's got different highlights and lowlights in it, and a, like a hint of caramel, I want to say. That could just be me, but that's the close-up of, of it. It's super soft and silky. It's very, very nice. The 200 gram pack came with 10 different clip-ins. While I'm up here, I'll show you a close-up of the clips. So that's what the back looks like. You just open it like that, um, part your hair. You can tease it so it stays in better. 
stick the clip in and then you close it that way to lock it into place and I'm going to show myself doing that in a sec but that's what it looks like there the 200 gram pack came with 10 pieces so there's one giant four piece like four clip um, weft which I have in my hair right now I'm going to show you and then it came with two three prong ones which look like this so it's a little bit thinner but it's longer and then it came with five two clip wefts that look like that and then it came with two one piece little clips like that which I think are perfect for this front area here because you, you kind of want to get as close to the front of your hairline as you can without the actual clip showing so I really like these just to add a little bit mo more volume right in the front of your head so if I was going to put this in my hair I would just open up the clip make a part in my hair wherever you know I want the extension to be with my hair it's really fine so I usually end up teasing it a bit and even hairspraying it if I need to but Right now I'm just going to show you it going in. So you just stick the clip in to the hair that you already have on your head and then you lock it closed like so and then you just take your other hair, place it right over top. Now if you have naturally thicker hair these are going to be a lot easier to cover. If you have fine hair you're going to have to really make sure that you get it in a location that doesn't stick out and that um, you check all the way around your head so that everything looks blended and and well in. So that's what it looks like there. It's just added a little bit. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's just add a little bit more volume here right in the front of my face which looks especially good with curls. But I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to take out the four piece one so that you can see. So to take them out you just undo the clip, pop the piece of hair out. If you've never used clip and extensions before this may seem very strange to you that you're putting in somebody else's hair and it's clipping in and things like that but I've been doing this for a long long time so a lot of experience with different clip and extensions alright so this is what the hair looks like with the four piece weft in and I'm gonna pull it out so you can see just how much hair that added because it's a giant weft of hair one two three four clips undone and then as I pull it out my hair looks so bare without it but this is the giant four piece one four clips and then I believe there's four actual wefts sewn together. So you can see just how thick it is. And that's what it looks like there from the front. And that's how long it is. So that was, was what was in my hair. And this is what it looks like now. And sadly, this is still not my hair. I still have extensions in right now. So you can just imagine, this is, I mean, this is my actual real hair right here how very little hair I have of my own. So yes, I definitely have a lot of experience with hair extensions. As for the price, this 10 piece set retails for $129, which is an amazing deal for real Royal Remy, real hair, 10 piece set, hair extensions. I think it's a fantastic price. The company's actually given me a 10% coupon code for you guys if you are interested in buying a loot down below. I believe it's Irresistible Allison and they wanted to let me let you guys know that sometimes they have sales on their websites and that will make the code not work. Um, so if it's not working, it's probably for that reason. But once the sale is over, then the code's going to work again and that's for 10% off. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can tell you about these hair extensions. They're great quality. They act just like regular hair. They they wash, they color, they blow dry, they curl. Everything just like regular hair. And I think they're a good deal. So if you have any questions, let me know in a comment down below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!